Welcome back to our live show, Winter Squash, plentiful this time of year, and you might want to include some with your Thanksgiving meal next Thursday. Richmond Executive Chef Robert Nelson is here with his restaurant signature maple roasted local heirloom squash creation. We saved you for last All because right. we're, we're treating you like dessert, man. That's I tell you, right. this is very, it's, it's, as Cheryl said, it smells like Thanksgiving in here. We've well, got butter going, we've got bacon going, brown sugar going. What more could we want? Um, Chef, tell us, what is exactly a winter squash versus a summer squash, first of all? Your winter squashes are the harder ones, the acorn squash. This is called a carnival. We have butternut squash, delicata squash. So this is something we're featuring on our menu for Thanksgiving and at our boathouse. And we said heirloom squash. So yep. what is that? So heirloom seeds are just uh, seeds that are passed down from generation to generation, uh, bred for flavor and um, as opposed to... So to that squash is going to look like, like the, gra the squash grandma cooked with, right. basically. Right, it is. Yeah. Okay. And uh, the winter squash, you say they're harder. Do they t have a different taste or texture on the inside? They have that sweet uh, pumpkin taste. Uh, you know, pumpkin is a winter squash. Yeah, pumpkin is our, our most common winter squash. Butternut squash is another one. All right, let's cook. So, all right, so um, the squashes are very hard. You got to cut them in half and uh, scoop out the seeds. Which and then are, save the seeds to, to roast those later. Yep, you can roast the seeds just like uh, your roasted pumpkin seeds. Mm -hmm. You like those? Yeah, I do. I love them. And then, um, so I've cut them into about one inch pieces here. And uh, we're going to make our seasoning for them, starting with some melted butter. And you don't peel these at all. Could you do that if you wanted you to? You could peel them. The the butternut squash, which are the light brown ones, are really easy to peel. And um, But the acorn squash, uh, you can eat the skin or you can eat around the skin. Um, they're more difficult to peel. And I noticed that you do, are you using a mixture? So squash, these winter squash are pretty much interchangeable. They are interchangeable. Some of them um, have a slightly different texture when they're done cooking. Mm -hmm. um, but they're going to cook up about the same? They are going to cook up okay. about the same. So okay. you can just go to the store, pick out a nice variety based on color, color. and, and yeah. sizes and and just, you know, use them as decoration and then cook them. Uh, All right. Cook well, you've got up. brown sugar in your hand. What are you going to do with it? All right. I'm going to mix it in with this butter. So So how much butter do we have in there? Uh, you have a pound of butter. A pound? A pound of butter. Yeah, and some we, sugar. We may not need it all for, for this. Oh, sure. Uh, use it all. <laughs> what we have going here. So we're going to stir that in. And then you're going to help me out? I will. I'll, I'll keep stirring while you do whatever you and need to do. And then we have our molasses. Just get that. And, and for folks who don't know, what's the difference between molasses and syrup? Molasses and syrup. Molasses is a, a syrup made from um, from sugar cane. And then we have maple syrup here, mm -hmm. which has given us a lot of good flavor. Maple syrup is uh, the, the reduced sap from maple trees. And molasses seems to be a lot thicker Mol than, than molasses than is maple syrup. much thicker than yeah. maple syrup. So all kinds of layers of sweetness here. Right. And then uh, we have fresh nutmeg. You want to grate some fresh nutmeg sure. in there for me? How much we'll do you need? We need I'll a try quarter teaspoon. To. A quarter yeah. teaspoon. Watch yeah. them fingers. I know. All right. Yeah. I don't even try to do that. <laughs> Cheryl's brave. Great. All right. <laughs> so and what else are we going to put in? Cinnamon, salt, and <clears throat> clove. Wow. So you can go ahead and put that all in right. there. Terrific. So stir it all up. So that is really uh, thickening up a little bit. It's aromatic, too. Yeah. Yeah. So it has all those uh, nice warm uh, winter spices that we associate with this time of year, cinnamon, nutmeg. Um, and then <clears throat> for my squash, I'm going to just lay it in my, in my dish. So we don't have to pre-roast this. This is going to roast right no, in the dish. It's going to go right in the oven, just Yum. like this. Do you cover it when you put it in the oven? Nope. I cook it uh, at about 450, and then uncovered, let the sugars caramelize on the squash. All right, so Cheryl, are, are we gonna, are we gonna, oh, we're gonna pour it right Just in pour now. it right over. And this is great because it doesn't take a lot of time to put together, and then while it's in the oven, you can be doing other things in the kitchen for your, for your meal. Correct. And everybody feels like they need some squash or some pumpkin or something for Thanksgiving, so this is perfect. It is perfect. This is uh, one of the dishes that, that we're featuring at the Boathouse. Um, we're doing Thanksgiving dinner at all our locations. You're open on Thanksgiving? We are open oh. on Thanksgiving. And then we're also doing uh, feasts to go. So if you, if you need to arrange a Thanksgiving dinner at your house, you can pick it up the day before. 
can order that up until the Friday before. Now, can you pick that up on Thanksgiving Day? or you uh, Just the, the day deliveries? before. Okay. <laughs> just the day before. So this is going to go into our... Um, 450 degree oven. So you're using a really hot oven, 450. Yep, 450. So some people's ovens are hotter than others. So I like mm -hmm. to, you know, monitor it. It's going to take about half an hour till they're nice and soft. Mm -hmm. And you can just keep an eye on it then and you'll tell, you'll be able to tell when it's softening up. Right. Okay. So once it's done, it's it's 450 for a half an hour or so. We've got a finished product here, but, but, you but gotta you've gotta added some extra things right. on the top. Here. I have, you know, you've got to add, add a little extra. We have pancetta, which is an Italian style bacon. And then we have pomegranate seeds and, and fresh chopped sage. Mm. Could you maybe roast up some of those um, seeds and Put them on the top? Yep, so the seeds, pomegranate is uh, you know, a little challenge to some people. I mean your squash seeds. Oh yeah. Could you use you those? You could. On the top? Those would be a nice nice addition. <laughs> She's gonna break those squash I'm seeds in one way or the other. They yeah. would be a nice so the, crunchy addition to your uh, So the pomegranate, are you putting I don't I don't know anything about pomegranate, except for it comes in juice. So do you do you have to cook that or is it it's nope, raw? It's delicious raw. So the um, here's a whole one, we just it's score beautiful. it and, and uh, cut it in half and then uh, break it apart so the seeds come out. Uh, and again, they're seasonal. I mean, they, they just came seasonal. into the yep. stores about a week or so. I had yeah. one last night. Add a nice bright color and a nice uh, bright flavor to your Well, it definitely squash. dresses everything up a little bit. So, and this is the pomegranate. Uh, with that, it's going to be sweet and it's going to be fantastic. Right. Sweet thank and savory. You, well, thank wow. you, Chef. This is beautiful. Uh, and we ha have the recipe available for you. We'll have it this afternoon on WTVR.com slash VTM if you'd like to add this to your dish as well.